I'm here to talk about uh, careers and employability and how you can use uh, your attitude and motivation to progress your uh, employability aspirations and career aspirations. So before I start, just a little bit about me. I've been at the university five years and prior to that I had a corporate uh, had corporate roles. I worked at PwC for 15 years in London and I've also worked uh, globally for DHL and I have an MBA as well. So I'm very much from the business side and I'm interested in bringing those business attributes and perspectives into Southampton Business School. So um, employability, where we're talking about uh, attitude and motivation, here's just a summary of a definition in terms of what employability means. And really it's about being ready to uh, to consider new challenges, to consider your own career plans and building the right kind of framework in terms of your skills, both your academic skills and also your interpersonal skills to make the most opportunities as they arise and for you to grasp any uh, opportunities or roles that come your way to the best of your ability. So within uh, the Southampton environment, we offer both uh, careers and employability support centrally and also within Southampton Business School tailored to our programmes. So one of the key things we do is we look at the uh, broader labour market and I'll come on to that. So where are those roles? Where are those opportunities for people and grad graduates from Southampton Business School? In order for you to um, assess your own sort of situation and circumstances, we encourage you to take our careers readiness test. So that will give you some feedback and opportunities to reflect on your strengths and weaknesses, the areas for development, in terms of skills, the areas that you wish to progress and your kind of interest in terms of your future career. So you may find as a result of that there's some areas that need to be, uh, you need further uh, support and training and we offer a whole range of webinars um, around practical skills such as CV, um, structure and review and also uh, uh, interview sessions and uh, assessment centres, psychometric testing, those sorts of practical skills that will help you be the best version of you at any employment opportunities and at any situations where you need to communicate what you can offer to a potential employer. Uh, we also um, offer e-mentoring, that can be through our alumni network and we have a programme of alumni supporting people who are current students but also we specialise in enterprise mentoring and my colleague will talk about that and how we can support for those of you that would like to start uh, your own businesses and also around diversity to ensure everyone has the same sort of opportunity to uh, contribute in, in the roles that they wish to pursue. Um, we offer a number of careers fairs and our main one is in the autumn but they are throughout the year where we have particular employers uh, working with us and we have um, we're in the top 20 in the UK for universities that graduate recruiters target so we offer a right, wide range of opportunities for you to progress your career graduate schemes or perhaps you uh, need to do further study in order to achieve your personal career objectives but um, they're very sort of popular and they tend to happen in the autumn. And aside from that, particularly locally within the business school, we have practitioner talks, whole school or coffee mornings or within our own individual programmes with tailored uh, uh, topics. We have alumni come in to share their experience. So they will talk about they were in the situation as a student and how they've progressed their career. We have various events and competitions and our coffee baits are popular, particularly within the virtual environment. So we can kind of meet people and interact where perhaps it's not uh, always possible face to face. And our offering is very much moved to the virtual uh, environment. We offer webinars rather than face to face, but obviously we'll see how things work out in the future. But you will always have the opportunity to have a one to one student session with one of our career practitioners uh, virtually at the moment to really look at your individual circumstances and where you want to progress uh, in your own career. So moving forward, um, we're very aware of the labour market. Obviously, there's the impact of COVID, but for a lot of our areas, we are still seeing quite a lot of interest in terms of employability opportunities for our students. So this is uh, sourced by the World Economic Forum. And as you can see, the top 10 emerging jobs very much feature 
uh, quite a lot of the topic areas covered by our programs at Southampton Business School, particularly analytics, marketing, organizational behavior. And what we have done in the areas of marketing and analytics, we've produced uh, YouTube videos just outlining the key aspects of careers in those areas and with some alumni talking about their experience and their input and their key learning points and also with employers. We're also aware a lot of international students particularly are keen to engage in uh, consulting careers. So we've had um, uh, someone with a with a, a distinguished career in consulting come and share hints and tips with us for global careers in consulting. So we do look at those areas where there are opportunities for you and for you to develop your career. Okay, um, this is just a quick um, slide when we we're talking about your mentoring. We are very passionate uh, of engaging our alumni community with current students and we have a, a new um, system to kind of provide those connections so we're very aware of the whole kind of continuity and how things move forward students to alumni and then coming back to support current students so um, that's one of the things that we at Southampton are passionate about and when we are talking about student enterprise um, we have a very strong entrepreneurial community and um, Shanaz will I'll explain that in a little bit more detail in terms of the specific programs we offer in Southampton Business School. But these are the opportunities that we've got arising 2021, and uh, they're very much in place. There's the other activities that we do, including uh, the Future Worlds initiative, which is a startup incubator where we encourage and provide all the mentoring around people setting up their own businesses. So it's something we're really passionate about at Southampton and innovating to develop new ideas and considering sustainability and so on but that's for Shana she'll explain that in a little bit more detail okay uh, we are keen to share with students the opportunities that are available to them uh, in the UK and internationally and sometimes that can be quite tricky because there are uh, kind of various websites which don't actually take the direct to the employer and it can be a bit confusing and a bit misleading so we have two ways that we are keen to share what we offer to our students. This is within the local My Career offering on our inter intranet at the university. This is going global, so this has got UK and international opportunities and development and, and directories and internships to share with you what we within our university community at Southampton would suggest as potential opportunities. But we are also part of a wider network through the European Foundation of Management Development which is on the next slide, which um, is, a in, is a worldwide virtual careers fair network. Uh, the next schedule of events is actually this autumn. And uh, if we just go back uh, one slide, we can look at the top of it, topic areas of those events. So they're very much aligned to the programmes which we offer at Southampton Business School. And each of these careers fairs covers a particular region. So one is Europe, EMA, EMEA, one is Asia Pacific, and one is the Americas. So we're offering you uh, global opportunities to develop your career within your particular subject area. And the next sh slide shows you some of those global employers. So we really are looking at the sort of Fortune 500 companies that want to employ people like yourselves who come to universities such as Southampton with a global reputation and really kind of encourage you to apply for those opportunities. You'll see as well on that slide uh, we offer for accounting students a number of international accounting organisations. We work with the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales who also attend those events. So we're looking at some of those sort of regulated environments, not just kind of the business development areas. So within the curriculum, we are also looking at um, expanding our real world experiences. So this is just a, a taster of one of the areas we are looking at, which is experiential learning with Ripen, which is a, a technological platform based in Canada. And we are facilitating facilitating case studies with students, academics and employers on some of our modules and they're given below on the slide to really give students a real flavour of what they can expect working on a real uh, assignment 
in their future roles. So really a fantastic careers and employability experience. Within Cormacis, which is our kind of analytical research centre, we offer up to 70 virtual projects each summer and the students can on Cormacis programmes can compete for these projects. So Cormacis programmes are analytical, there's uh, three analytical programmes in the business school and four in the maths area and they combine together to uh, compete for these projects. I've given some examples here in the UK, some are global, global names, but also some are startups as well. And we have extended our network to Germany, to India, and also to China. So really good global opportunities for students to get an employability experience and complete a real life project with uh, an organization. So um, that's been running for about the last 50 years, so a really embedded uh, activity within the business school. So we offer a range of uh, kind of opportunities that arise that we encourage students to participate in. Here is an example or some examples of those. One is a competition to encourage young people to consider their savings and attitudes to savings. And uh, the marketing, marketing students were runners up for that uh, competition, so that was fantastic. We engaged with the global, great global challenge, and this encouraged young people to develop their skills to be global citizens. And through the Bright Network internship experience, we had a number of students who participated with, lead, lead, with leading employers in virtual internships over the summer. So we are we very much share these opportunities and it depends on the students sort of journey what they want to take up and where they want to progress their skills but uh, they've certainly been worthwhile certainly in some of the areas of finance where um, we it's quite challenging to maybe get full-time careers at the moment but we can offer virtual experiences so on the next slide here's some other examples um, we've got graduate and postgraduate students being considered for the highest level of education and research uh, recognition at the Association of Project Management uh, Chartered Body. And we've also got uh, a project management alumnus who has uh, got some funding to develop his Sutton Codes initiative, which is encouraging non-technical people to acquire digital skills. So that's really important in the current environment. So. Uh, he's had support from the university to do that. So moving on, in the wider context, um, we look to our impact uh, more generally where we looked at society and one of our, and our, one of our key objectives is to make an impact in that environment. And we've got uh, 12 Southampton Business School students who are participating in Women in Business Memorial Lecture in the 29th of September. And as you can see, some really leading industry bodies there, influencers, The Economist, the Confederation of British Industry, which is a key employer body. So we have lots of opportunities for the business school and business school students to make an impact in the kind of broader business environment of the UK. So um, students considering um, our courses here at Southampton, um, what do we suggest? Well, career planning is really important. So firstly, uh, by attending one of our courses, seek out our career and employability resources and get engaged at an early stage, take the careers readiness test, uh, review your current situation and where you think and identify areas for development. Then you might move on to a career plan, which looks at both your academic um, skills and abilities, but also professional goals that might be developing into personal skills, that sort of thing. And then also identify any cultural factors that need to be considered. So you have put your career aspirations in some sort of context, particularly if you're coming from an international uh, environment. So there's a link here to the Careers and Employability Service homepage. All this information and more is documented there. So please do go and have a look. And thank you very much.